Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. This is going to be water signs video for weekly love reads of what's coming towards you in love. Um, this will be technically for the week of September 25th through October 1st. Um, we're going to have timestamps below, so if you want to go straight to your sign, you can do that. I'm going to be using the Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Soul Reflection Love Oracle deck, the Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages, Love Vibe cards from King of Aloha, and then Andromeda Skies Love Oracle deck. Um, these are general reads, so please keep that in mind. If you feel like this this reading's way this reading is way off the mark, you can check your moon or your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below to get you that information. And there's also a link in the description box below to get you to my personal page if you're interested in a personal read. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys tremendously. I'm just going to do a quick disclaimer on the message cards. Um, sometimes I feel like the message cards really validate the read for people. And then other times I feel like it kind of it, it screws with um, their thought process on the situation. Because they might be like, well, nobody said that to me. Or, you know, that didn't happen. Or, you know, whatever. I feel like the message cards often really validate for the people. Like if they have heard those messages, it's like really indicating that that's for them. But I also believe that um, sometimes those messages are just off the target. So focus more on like the tarot um, and the, the, the messages that you're getting from there. But I think that a lot of times the message cards really validate what the tarot is saying. So take it as it resonates, leave the rest. Um, thank you for watching and let's get into cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What is coming towards cancer and love? Judgment. Eight of Wands, the Devil, Two of Pentacles, and Six of Cups. Mm, interesting. So I feel like um, you definitely have someone that's coming towards you that's quite intense with this Devil card. They could potentially have some addictions or some obsessive kind of tendencies. This could be like obsessive thinking. This could be obsessive um, negative thoughts. This could be obsessing over you. This could be, um, addictions. So it could be like too much drinking, alcohol, um, drugs, sex addictions, gambling addictions. It could be, it could be any of those, but I really feel like it's kind of, um, anything that kind of makes us kind of feel imprisoned um, or defeated. So I feel like this person coming towards you could have some really intense characteristics. I'm not going to clarify to find out what, what it is, but um, they could very well just be like this intense overthinker. I do feel like this is a reunion, so you could probably know who this devil energy is, or it could just represent a Capricorn. I should have said that first. Um, I definitely see a sense of reunion in both of these cards the judgment card to me could just be a card of reunion but it's also a card of spiritual ascension so if this person did have a lot of hang-ups or difficulties I feel like they have spiritually ascended um, they are getting um, out of their own way with the spiritual ascension it's kind of like this review of their life and what they've done and um, how their behaviors created certain things in their life and what they want to stop doing and start doing in their life to make things better. But it's also a reunion as well as the Six of Cups. This is a card of someone who brings you a lot of very nostalgic feelings, someone you have warm, fuzzy memories with or about. Could be someone from your past. It doesn't have to be necessarily an ex-lover, but it could be um, someone in your past that you really... Um, that you that you know who it is from your childhood or beyond, right? Um, I think this person coming in is kind of juggling. Um, I feel like they might be the, the type that just kind of, like I said, gets in their own way. So it's like mind over matter. What are they choosing to do? Um, they might be a little indecisive. They're going to come towards you, though, guys. They're going to have lots of messages. They're going to communicate um, I feel like lots and lots and lots of messages. So I feel like it's a, a matter. I feel like this person. I feel like this person is really honestly a, a heavy, heavy overthinker. And they're going to kind of get in their head and they're going to kind of juggle. They There is a past connection between the two of you. This definitely is some sort of reunion. Um, but I feel like this person's still not 100% 
uh, 100% even keeled in terms of where their head is. You guys, I'm going to have to stop this video and I'll be back soon. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. We're back and we have the, the beast down in the basement. I think she's going to be chill, but uh, she's still not healed all the way either, by the way. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, so I feel like your person's kind of indecisive and kind of in their head a lot. They're still not really sure what to do in terms of this connection, but they're going to be communicating with you. They're going to be communicating a lot with you. So, and I kind of feel like that, I'm not doing the bottom of the deck, but I'm kind of feeling like that might be why there's the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck. That might be your energy and like, mm, what's going on here? Like, what's really what's going on here? So let's get some love and romance journey cards, see if we can get some clarification. Oh, divine masculine, new pathway, wedding. Oh, so it feels like this person is going to get some clarity and maybe um, they're going to... Uh, progress on this new pathway as they make these uh, different choices that they did in the past. We have Divine Masculine, so I feel like this is your counterpart, this is your soulmate, new pathway, and wedding. So I feel like um, they're going to get some clarity. My dog. Love is coming. Divine timing is aligned. Planning ahead. And passion, yeah. So I feel like, as conflicted as this person's going to be initially, um, they're coming in love. They're coming with passion. Um, divine timing is aligned. So this is planning ahead. This is showing a pregnant person. So you could potentially having be having children too. So I guess this person's gonna go from confusion to like, I know what I want. I know what I want, and it's you. Like, all I want is you, Miguel. That song from Miguel. Yeah. That might be significant, that song from Miguel. Let's get some Hermit Tarot uh, channeled messages for cancer. We have yes. Have I lost everything? I feel the same way. I dream about you a lot too much. So I feel like... Um, Yes, this person lost you and they realized that they lost you. They wanted to come back around. They were quite stuck up in their head. Um, I feel the same way. I dream about you a lot too much or the messages that are coming out. So uh, two, seven, and nine. But I feel like this person gets that clarity. They're going to pr propose a marriage. They're truly in love with you. Uh, love vibe cards, don't push me away, come here. Let me take the lead and come to you. So I feel like this person's going to change up what they've done in the past. I feel like losing you prompted them, or losing the connection with you. It doesn't mean you guys were necessarily 100% together, but um, losing that connection or that uh, ability to, to kind of have access to you. Um made them change their mind. We have long distance and I'm planning on reaching out to you for the Andr Andromeda Skies card. Yeah, guys. So I feel like, um, wow, this person went from being wishy-washy, juggling, overthinking, stressing out, obsessive thoughts to I know exactly what I want. So nice. That's not a bad read. I'm going to get these cards put back together, and then we're going to get to Scorpios. But, um, yeah, that makes me feel better, Cancers. Because at first I was like, oh, me. Because some of these reads, I don't know, they've not been the most cohesive reads tonight. But um, I, feel that, I feel like that one took a turn. <laughs> oh. And now I got that song, All I Want Is You, from Miguel. And it's... um. Now that you're, all I want is you, now that you're gone. Yeah, and he like compares um, up the people to you in the song. Hmm. Let me know if that resonates, Cancers. Let me know if that resonates in the comments. I just saw 444 on my clock because I had to restart this video, but you won't see it on yours. 
All right, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios. What's coming towards Scorpios in love? What's coming towards Scorpios in love? The Fool, the Knight of Cups. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, <gasps> Ace of Cups. This is amazing, Scorpios. This is amazing. So you definitely have a new love situation coming towards you. Ace of Cups is a new start in love. This is someone who is going to truly, genuinely care about you and have love for you. I feel like this is going to be an intense love connection. I think on both ends. Um, we have the Ten of Freaking Cups, guys. This is happily ever after. This is like whatever you dream of in terms of a relationship this is true love marriage soulmate energy this is happily ever after this is all your dreams coming true in terms of love and i do feel like it's a, a person you haven't dated before um this person is going to be extremely attentive um with this knight of cups energy i feel like um in terms of romantic romanticism romanticism <laughs> I'm, I'm tired in terms of being romantic this person is going to pull out a lot of stops you can see this person has roses um, a, a love letter wine um, some food like a picnic they're coming in on a white horse to kind of save the day so I feel like this person that you're going to connect with is going to offer a lot of gestures of love um, potentially in things like this but it could be even more so like whatever your love language is but I feel like there's going to be no question on how this person feels about you um I feel like you guys are going to be taking this leap of faith moving forward jumping into this relationship jumping into this situation um the page of wands is here so this is fiery flirty energy this is like good times good vibes I feel like you will connect quite well have lots of laughs lots of fun times but it's definitely a love situation. I feel like this person's going to be um, providing love gestures, offering you their new this new cup in love. Um, I think you're going to eat it up too because I feel like this ten of cups being here is like this happily ever after energy, Scorpios. This is probably the best read so far this evening. Congratulations. All right, let's get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Scorpios. Love letter. So that's two love letters. So someone might write like very um, something like a letter, obviously, or like a text. But I feel like it's written well with intention. We have divine timing and we have winter. So bottom of the deck, husband. So you could be someone's husband or they could be your husband. Um, but winter in divine timing. So this is like rolling out and it love letters are going to be significant i feel like that's like an indication of uh, of the king the knight of uh, cups hands of time want to grow old with you so this is like someone that's going to be long term this is going to be a long term marriage worth the wait yeah and that divine timing card again is there and then lust so it's going to be really uh intense chemistry as well lots of passion i like the scorpios yours is going like super duper 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 fast let's get the hermit tarot channeled love messages for scorpios this love scares me 11 <laughs> that might be your energy i feel like they are waiting for you i'm absolutely in love with you so i've Here's that lust. I want you. Eight. Um, I feel like this love might scare you, Scorpio. I feel like this is probably something you've not felt as much um, like passion or like I feel like it's almost like intentionality on the other person's part. I feel like they're going to make you feel extremely special. They're going to kind of check all your boxes. They're going to speak to you in your love language. It's going to be a situation, I feel like, that's going to be really balanced. Um, and you're not really used to this healthy kind of love that's happening to you. Um, they are waiting for you. So I feel like this is just kind of another indication of this divine timing coming together. And I am absolutely in love with you. I think it, I think your person's going to be quite direct and you're like, you're going to be taken aback a little bit by that. We have, I'm pushing you away because I'm pursuing other connections. 
and I don't feel anything special about this connection. You're not my usual type, but I'm still attracted to you. I almost feel like this is kind of you. Like maybe you push this person away because you were pursuing something else or someone else. Um, and you're like, yeah, I don't feel anything special. But I almost feel as if um, those were like lies you were telling yourself. You were kind of like downplaying. I feel like you feel a connection towards this person. I, I think you know who this person is. Like you know of this person. You might not know who it is. But I feel like you've had some kind of communication with this person. And you didn't feel this great special connection. Um, but there's something that kind of keeps pulling you back towards this person. Um, and you're not really sure what it is. But I feel like floodgates are going to be opening. And I think you're kind of blocking this person initially. I feel like it's going to flip. And you're going to be like so happy. I feel like the intentionality with this person is just going to be something that you've never experienced before. And didn't even know could be possible. It's kind of what I'm getting. I don't know. And maybe it's because they're not your usual type. And you've been telling yourself like, no, this can't happen because of X, Y, and Z. But uh, divine timing that play and is rolling out. Um, we have this is the end. And then, we, oh, I, I don't know why I looked at the bottom of the deck, but that's a long distance on the bottom of the deck. I need time. Yeah, and I feel like um, potentially... I feel like, again, potentially this is your energy of, like, keeping yourself safe, keeping yourself guarded. I need time. This is the end. I'm not, this isn't going anywhere. Maybe you felt like this person and you had some kind of a connection previously and you ended it. Because um, you were telling yourself, like, no, this isn't going to be anything. And I'm pursuing other people or other things right now. And I'm not really that interested. But I feel like this person's going to come guns blazing showing you how they feel telling you how they feel having so much love for you and you're going to be like it's almost going to it's going to be overwhelming to you i feel like you're not used to being well taken care of and treated properly that's just what i'm getting but this is going to be worth the wait it's going to be passionate they want to grow old with you i think you're going to want to grow old with them too um and that just made me think of um oh oh what is it uh Oh my gosh, I want I was going to say Billy Madison. It's the Adam Sandler movie. It's not Billy Madison. It's the one with Drew, the wedding singer. Um how he sings the song about wanting to grow old with her. It's a song that popped in my head. Songs pop in my head all the time based off of what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, who I'm talking what I'm talking to, who I'm talking to, what I'm talking about. All right, all right, all right. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces in love? What is coming towards Pisces in love? The High Priestess, the Page of Cups. Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. This is interesting. You guys, I think... I don't know who this is. It's you or them. Someone's this is this is a twin flame connection. And someone has been lying to themselves and potentially to you or you've been lying to yourself and to them or to everybody about how you feel about this connection. There's like deceit here. But to me I feel like this deceit is talking is it's it's not being honest about your feelings. I don't know if you're not being honest or they're not being honest. Someone's not being honest in this connection. And there's going to be an apology because of it. The page of cups. There's going to be an apology. I kind of feel like your person, your person's going to be coming towards you with an apology, but roles can always be reversed. So take it however it resonates. I feel like someone's been telling themselves, I don't love this person. This person's not for me. We're not supposed to be together. This is, I ended it. It needed to end or it ended. It needed to end that kind of energy. I don't need them. I don't love them. I don't want them. That's not true. There's going to be an apology here because there's intense love. This um, card actually has like a pig flying here. So I feel like this is something that's not going to be expected because it's like, oh, we'll get back together. Yeah, when pigs fly. 
or um, something like that. Or I'll get an apology. Oh, yeah, when pigs fly. Like, you're not really expecting this apology from someone someone um, not being honest with themselves. I feel like you potentially know who this person is. Um, I feel intuitively you're very connected to this person. I feel like this... Um, or this person's intuitively connected to you, and that's why they can't they can't lie to themselves any longer, um, because they have all these intense downloads and intense feelings. I feel like they're thinking about you. You're thinking about them. Uh, you're hearing songs about them. They're hearing songs about you. Like things are reminding you of each other. You're hearing each other's names all the time. I feel like this is pretty mutual. To be truly honest, I feel like this is really mutual. This is a twin flame journey, you guys. This is. This is someone who feels safe to you. This is someone who feels like home to you. This connection is like no other that you've ever experienced. Um, twin freaking flames. If you don't know what twin flames are, look it up. This is your happily ever after. This is true love. This is marriage. I feel like um, true, true love, soulmates, twin flame energy, an apology for lying intuitively connected spiritually connected good golly miss molly this is huge huge pisces let's get some love and romance journey cards for pisces inner child tired and standing and caution yeah final move on the bottom of the deck i feel like Six of Cups, basically. Memories. This is a return. This is a reunion. I feel like um, there might have been a soul searching was underneath that. I feel like there was probably a lot of inner child wounding on your part, their part, both of your parts. I feel like um, there was a lot of healing that needed to take place. So I feel like previously it didn't work out because you needed to heal. They needed to heal or both of you needed to heal. It did result in very, very much, um, you guys were tired. You guys were just kind of there. You weren't really doing what you needed to do to work on this relationship. People were potentially lying about how they felt. People were pushing people away. People were keeping secrets to themselves. Um, and it, it was, it made you feel very cautious about this relationship, about opening up your heart. Um, you were unsure. You, you thought you felt, this is what I get guys. So forgive me for this interpretation. But like you felt such a connection that you never felt before and then it scared you and then this person wasn't acting in accordance to what your heart was telling you, what your mind was telling you, what your spirit was telling you. Um, so you kind of cut it off because you were like, this is, I'm just making this up in my head. But this person was battling some things inside. This person was exhausted emotionally. This person needed to heal. Um, and I feel like you might have been in a similar place. You might have been thinking you were ready, but it wasn't the time. And now is the final move for this reunion to come back. Mm, interesting. Let's get the uh, Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. Pisces. Pisces. Regret. Argument. Money issues. Who had this one? I think it was Leo's. I'm not a thousand percent sure. They had arguments and money issues. Um, I feel like, guys, this person r regrets a lot. This person, or you're sitting in a lot of regret about how the situation went. There could have been arguing. Um, in the in the connection and money issues could have been prevalent so that could have been part of the stress of the situation all right let's get some hermit tarot channeled love messages for pisces it says i think so yes wait do you even see me that way? I feel like this is um, this is this is potentially kind of the dynamic of the previous relationship. Like um, someone's like, "Yes, I think this is what I want," and then they're like, "Wait," and then they're like, and "Then you're like, do you even see us like this?" Like, or you know, roles can be reversed. I feel like there was a lot of back and forth and wishy washy um, because people were not healed in this connection. But this person is 
coming back to apologize. This person's going to be honest. This person's going to tell you how they lied, how they were not being truthful to themselves, not being truthful to you, or vice versa. I feel like it could be either way or both. Like, I feel like you both could have been in very similar energies with a twin flame connection. Holy shnikes, that scared me. All right, so I'm leaving them for you soon. I promise not to break your heart. Oh my gosh, do I take all these? I'm just going to take all these, um, take them as they resonate. I'm waiting on you to come to me. I don't think we feel the same about this. We are mirroring each other. We are the same. That's that arguing. <laughs> I fantasize about you all the time. And we have a lot of differences. Yeah, so differences could have been part of the issue too. Financial. I feel like you both were not in the right place to move forward. And that's why I didn't move forward. But I think you both can't get yourselves off each other's minds. I think you mirror each other. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So um, Andromeda Skies love oracle cards for Pisces. One-sided relationship and I am so sorry. Yes. You're always on my mind is on the bottom of the deck. I feel like I feel like this potentially was a one-sided relationship previously. Like one person was putting in all the effort. Could have been you, Pisces, putting in all this effort and this other person was like wishy-washy. Um, but I feel like whatever reason, you guys just weren't ready to... This this connection was not ready, whether it was one person or both people, um, to move forward. At that point, I think this person wants it to move forward now. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the read for Water Signs. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, guys, take care.